Dear colleagues, while we condemn the far-right ideologies, movements, we are actually lacking one important thing in this conversation. It's understanding the roots, why these far-right ideologies are coming from. And unfortunately, whether we like it or no, there are two reasons. One of the reasons is when someone wants to weaponize people and to, with the violent regimes to use them for their own uh, reasons. But the second reason is when people feel that they are not heard, they are too fragile, insecure, and then suddenly someone with power comes to them or uh, offers to join that radical movement and to get a purpose, to fight back. I'm saying this because, unfortunately, there is no proper research available, no proper statistics on why, why people are joining these movements. And while it imposes incredibly big threats to democracies in all of our countries, it actually is the reason why we have to sit together and think what's wrong is in all the systems that we have, that unfortunately these far-right ideologies are, are increasing. Technically, there are a number of things that I want to raise your attention. How these movements are financed? Is there investigations being done on that? Is there enough education in universities, in schools, in different countries regarding the threats of that radicalism? Is there any incentives for those people who are currently acting as radicals to go out from that movement? If we look at these people who are there, ma many of them are very uneducated. And then such terrible uh, violent regimes or organizations as, for instance, Wagner groups, they may come to different maybe not in, in uh, all European countries, but in those who are vulnerable and offer them join that radical movement and they will join for money and for the purpose. We should be using the time to educate these people and to prevent this aggression and radicalism. But at the stage when it's only just starting and at the stage where we are now, we actually have to investigate these roots and to raise the public campaigns to implement the mechanisms that in, will investigate the financial sources of these radical movements. And only then we will be able